Hey guys, in this video, I want to quickly show you how you can use a trailing stop on the platform Pionex. If you want to create an account on Pionex, you can simply go down to the video description, click on the link and you will get to exactly this page right here and you will be automatically eligible for the best sign up bonus possible, which is currently up to 2,125 US dollars. Creating an account using the link from the description will give you access to all of these nice sign up bonuses that you can redeem by depositing and trading different amounts. All you then have to do is enter an email, set a password or use one of these options and then you're ready to go. All right, so let's jump right into the content. I don't want to show you everything, how you can open a position and all of that. I have different videos on Pionex for that on my channel. So you can check them out if you need more details on that. In this video, I only want to show you how a trailing stop works. So first of all, I'm just going to open a quick position right here. Just go by long. And now I have a long position opened right here. And I want to show you, of course, you could add a normal take profit and stop loss right here. Um, that's how that works. But in this case, I want to show you a trailing stop. So you click here on settings and then you can set a retracement distance. So that means, for example, if I type in $500, that means now $500 below the current price, there will be a trading stop and it will always remain the distance of $500. I can also set it by rate. For example, I could say 10% below the current price, whatever I want to set in here. And I can also add an activation price if I don't want it to be active right just now, um, but only if a certain price is reached. I could type in this price right here and only then if this price is reached, then the trading stop will be active. So in this case, to show you, I'm just going to use it here by distance. I'm just going to say $500, no activation price, just uh, open it now, click on OK. And then you can see down here, I have it set. I can see the retracement distance, $500 right here, and I can see where it currently sits. Unfortunately, I cannot see it here in the price chart, but I can always check it in here. And so currently it sits around about at $43,300. So somewhere in here, $500 below the current price. And let's actually go up again. Here's the, here's the trading stop right now. If the price goes up now, this trading stop will follow the price to always make sure that there is a distance of about $500 as we've set down here. And of course, if the price would crash at any time, then the trading stop would stay at the same price and then we would be stopped out in here. This can be incredibly useful if you go, for example, at to sleep at night and you have the difference, either I'm going to set a stop loss in here or I'm going to set a trading stop with a difference of $500 because then if the price goes up in here, this trading stop would, of course, move up. And then if the price crashes, it would stay in here, we would be stopped out with a profit. But if instead we wouldn't have a trading stop, but instead just here the normal stop loss, if the price would crash even further down to here, then we would be stopped out here and would have a loss. So this is how you can use a trading stop for your advantage. That's how you can use it. Um, you can edit it at any point here. For example, change the retracement distance. If you want to um, completely cancel it, you have to do that in here. Go to open orders, click on trading stop, and then you can see the order in here. And if you click on cancel, you don't have a trading stop anymore. You can see now there's no trading stop anymore. Same goes for a short position. If I close this trade right now and, and I open a short position, I'm just going to quickly do that. Let's take an amount, click on sell short. I can also add a trading stop here. For example, I'm going to type in $500 and now the trading stop, of course, will be above the current price. It currently sits at $44,300, so that means it sits right here. And now if the price goes down, the trading stop will follow it, always remain the difference, uh, the distance of $500. And if the price then goes up at some point, it will stay in here. Of course, if nothing happens, if I set my trading stop in here and the price would just go down, it would just stay here and would I would be stopped out in here. So it works just the same if the price goes in the wrong direction, basically, it would just stay. But it basically guarantees there will be a maximum difference between the current price and the stop loss of $500. So that's how the trading stop works and how you can use it on Pionex. Don't forget to create an account on Pionex by using the link down from the video description to get the best sign up bonus possible. And as always, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask them in the comments.